All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Red. Let's whip out the town map real quick. Because today, we are going not... Let's see. This thing is really annoying to use. Or <laughs> to, like, show where I'm going. Um, so yeah, we were just at the sea cottage here, Bill's house. And now we're going south from Cerulean City. Down Route 5 to Route 6 to Vermilion City. So that'll probably take the whole episode. There's quite a few trainers, if I remember correctly. But yeah, we'll go the way we did to uh, fight the rocket that had the dig team. Because until we have cut, um, we can't go this way. So this is the only way out of Cerulean. And well, we can go down this way. There's actually no trainers on Route 5 here. There's just this house, which is the daycare. And basically, as you walk around, uh, the Pokemon that you give to this guy will level up. So, I'm gonna give him Magikarp. And we'll come back, since you do have to come back this way on Route 5, so... Yeah, let me come back, we'll see uh, how much he's leveled up. Probably won't get him enough to evolve, but that's alright. We can't actually go this way. Because this guy is thirsty, I guess. That's a reason to close the road. So we have to take the underground path here. Which is, a uh, very interesting here. Wow. <clears throat> Apparently we just walked under a whole city, though. Under, uh, Saffron City. Which is what's in the middle here. What we, uh, can't access. Oh, we do! Oh, I'm... I'm tired. <laughs> stayed up too late last night, but, uh, anyways, now we'll head down Route 6, and we can fight these guys. I'll put Spear on front since he's only level 14, so he needs some XP. It's Squirtle. I guess I'll use Kadabra here, why not? Yeah, Kadabra's honestly just overpowered in this game. I, I was talking about it in the last video. I mean, if we look at his, um, his stats... Yeah, special 41, or special 45 and speed 41, actually. Attack and defense are bad, but it doesn't matter. And he only has one useful move. Actually, teleport is useful. None of these guys are having a private conversation, but they weren't even looking at each other. So, <laughs> maybe it's a one-way conversation. She's just talking to him. <laughs> He's not even looking. Uh, Hartata, my worst enemy. Okay, that was close. I did not expect it would do that much damage, but, um, Spear lived, so... And leveled up. And got Fury Attack, which is not a good move. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to Nidoking, because... He is immune to electric, because he's a ground type. I don't know if it has any electric attacks, but Nidoking is also just good anyways, so... Yeah. I mean, Pikachu is bad. There we go, yeah, he had Thundershock. I 
But yeah, I'll show why teleport is a useful move. Uh, well, I, I don't know if I'll show it here, but... Uh, basically, you can go in here, and if you click on Kadabra and then use teleport, it'll take you back to the last Pokemon Center. Basically, it's like an escape rope, but you can use it anywhere, not just in a cave. And it's free, so... It's actually way better than the escape rope. <laughs> in, in every way, pretty much. Um, but yeah. Don't quite need to heal yet. Nobody has fainted. Bug catcher. Normally Sphero would have a field day with a bug catcher, but he's actually a at really low HP, so <laughs> I'm gonna let Charmaine do it. Poison powder, that's annoying. I think poison is actually worse in this game than in other games. I think it does half as much damage as it usually does. Um... But yeah, confusion is uh, the real problem here. Oh, but we got a crit. Nice. The like red HP, like beeping sound. I don't know why, but it messes with the um, audio. Like it just it makes the audio like play on top of itself. Like the level up thing? I don't know, it's weird. I'm gonna use an antidote as well. Yeah, basically I would use teleport here, but I don't want to have to walk all the way back here, so... From Cerulean. You know, I might have been wrong. Getting uh, down here probably won't take the whole episode. There's less trainers than I remembered. Oh, as soon as I failed, thank god. No, why? Why, Pidgey? Another Pidgey. I'm gonna switch so that A Spear can get XP and B so that um the sand attack will reset so I'm not low accuracy anymore. I don't think I really addressed it in the last video, but, um, like how TMs work. But basically, they just teach your Pokemon a move, and you can only use them once. I taught, like, I taught Dig to, uh, Charmeleon. And once again, we're about to die. <laughs> Spiro just has a knack for that. I'm getting out of near-death situations. But yeah, um... I taught it to Charmeleon because the only other person that could, or the only other Pokemon that could learn it is, uh, Kadabra. And, well, Kadabra has this really bad attack, so. Okay, come on. Don't kill me now. Okay. Thank you. Just three Pidgeys. It's just too much, apparently. <laughs> Almost died. Uh, I'll, I'll keep Spiro up front, at least it gets to level 17. And I'll put Kadabra up front. I 
He says, huh, you want to talk to me? After walking up to me. I feel like you're the one who wants to talk to me, man. And it's a Spiro. Spiro versus Spiro battle. No, not really, because my Spiro would lose. Um, I guess uh, I'll use Butterfree? It does have Peck, but it's just a Spiro, so... Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't do very much. Oh my god. He lived. Okay, well, Growl doesn't do anything, because I don't have any attacking moves, only special attack. And Radicate. If I switch in Spirit, he'll probably just die, so... I'll just keep Butterfree in. I'm gonna put this to sleep, actually. Or I'm not, because it's gonna kill me with Hyper Fang. Or, no? I, I overestimated Hyper Fang, and underestimated Butterfree. Yeah, this low HP alarm is really annoying. But, unfortunately, it's, a uh, Nothing I can do. And Radicate woke up. Rip. Sorry, Butterfree. And the crit, just to rub it in. Could I brush it out speed though, so I'll just let him do it. Oh, of course, quick attack. I might actually die here? I don't know. It's like depending, he could just use Hyper Fang three times and just kill all my Pokemon. Charmaine should be able to survive anything that's not a Hyper Fang. Uh, but tail whip it, and it failed, okay. <laughs> and he claims all the XP. This is why he's so high level. And there we go. Now we're at Vermilion, the orange city. So we'll heal up real quick. Before we... Um, well... Hang on. I'm gonna buy and sell real quick. I can sell my escape rope, because I can just use, um, teleport. I can sell, like, one awakening. I don't... Team 12 is a water gun, I think. TM1 is Bide, right? I think it's Bide. Which I don't plan on using. No, no, it's not. It's. I think it's Mega Punch, which I also don't plan on using, so I'll just go ahead and sell it. And I won't use TM12 either, because I have Bubble Beam, which is just better. Um. And then TM04 is. Oh god, uh, is it Mega Kick? Maybe. I have a Nugget though, from Nugget Bridge. That's worth a lot. Oh god, I don't know what these TMs are. <laughs> um... Yeah, well, let me check what these TMs are. Okay, this is Whirlwind. That's not good. That's useless. And this is Thunder Wave. Um... I probably won't teach Thunder Wave to anyone. But, uh... Yeah, I'll just go ahead and sell both of these. Whirlwind is actually just useless. I don't know why you would teach a Pokemon Whirlwind. Thunder Wave is a good move in, like, competitive Pokemon, but... Not really, for just playing in the game. Um, yeah, we can't buy Great Balls yet, unfortunately, so I will buy a few more Pokeballs, like 20, probably. And I'll buy a few Super Potions. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, 
And uh, so basically we can we have two choices here. We can go ahead and get on the SSN or we can go over here to route I think it's eleven. Or uh, yeah, eleven. And to go in Diglett's cave here and catch a Diglett. But honestly, I don't know if I'll use Diglett. Because I have Needle King. Well, hmm. I don't know. For n I'll just go on the SSN for now, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think this is the strap for now. And we got our tickets, so we can get on. A very small boat, until we get on, it's like, actually giant. I don't know why, I just made it really small there. And there's a lot of trainers on here, so... We can get our Pokemon all leveled up. Cause I'd say we're a little under leveled for now, but... Just charming in here because he has a um, dig, which is super effective, and he resists fire. So, his dig is actually in this game, it's actually the same strength as Earthquake, it just takes two turns instead of one. So, they nerfed it in the later games, but it's actually equal in this game. And yeah, there we go. Easy. And yeah, the gentlemen give you a lot of money when you win, so... Apparently this is a Machoke. If you know what Machoke looks like, you know this this icon looks nothing like Machoke. <laughs> but, but um, they have a pretty limit limited set. His sailor's pride is at stake apparently because they just walked in the room. I'll use Kadabra here, why not? Bubble. Bubble is terrible. I'm honestly surprised it's doing 4 damage even. Bubble is like... Like, it has like half of the power of Tackle. <laughs> like, that's how bad Bubble is. I don't know why it's so bad. There's no real reason for it to be that terrible. And Shelter got a crit. Or, Shelter got crit on. I got a crit on Shelter. And Tentacle is a poison type, so bye bye. Oh no, it actually lived. Tentacle's actually decent. Or at least Tentacruel is. Tentacruel is... I mean, he's fine. It has honestly really surprisingly high stats. I think it's special as, like, the same as Kadabra's. Which is really high. You know what they say about sailors and fighting? I honestly don't. Um, this guy seems to think I do, though. Mm. I think I'll just use Kadabra again. It worked so well last time. I don't think Shoulder can really do anything to Kadabra. Okay, well, he could do Supersonic, but thankfully it failed. Um. 
And yeah, tackle. Spirit leveled up. Yay. Good fight, mate. Eh, I think it ever is fine. And we got another sailor here. I mean, not surprising to find sailors on a boat. But there are a lot of them. <laughs> like. Uh, I think I'll use. I guess I'll use Nato King. I mean. I think this horsey probably just has bu bubble like the other one, so... Might do like 10 damage or something. Nah, I'm like 15. Not even. Horsey is just not good, honestly. Alright, nice crit. Nidoking, he's good. He's better once he gets better moves, though, but... The thing about him is he can learn, like, a lot of moves. Like, that's his main strength. That he can learn so many different moves. Um... I'll use... Uh, Butterfree, I guess? Well, sleep powder probably was not necessary. That's probably overkill, but yeah, horse is just annoyingly like tanky, but like it's actually just not good. I also don't have any uh. Moves that are super effective against water types, which doesn't help. And we got another ether, which are honestly like not that useful. And yep, another sailor. Not surprising. Tentacool, hmm. I think I'll use Charmeleon. Probably doesn't have like Bubble Beam. No wrap. Almost worse, honestly. Seriously, who ever thought wrap was a good move that they should include in the game? And start you. Yeah, I mean, using fire Pokemon against a water type, not the smartest idea, but... He does have Dig, which is, like, a really strong move. I don't know how much damage that did. This might kill me. Yeah, that's okay. Can Spiro clutch the wind? Maybe. Solid, solid, yeah, yeah, he, well, eh, mm. No, okay, crit, awesome. Cadaver can always clutch the wind because he's fast. And yeah, you can hear the beeping sound effect just completely messing up all the other sounds. I really don't know why that happens. We got a TM. I think that's a rest. Which is, um... I mean, it is a move. I'll give you that one. And... I don't think I want to fight these guys right now, at least. I'll just, uh, teleport back. Oh, we can't use it in the boat. Yeah, 
can teleport almost anywhere. It's not inside like certain buildings, and I guess the boat counts as a building. But now we can, probably. Yeah. And yeah, that's gonna wrap up this video. We made some good progress today. So... Tomorrow, maybe we'll finish up the SSN? I don't know. Depends if I decide to fight all the trainers or not, but... Yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.